Project Super Dooley still exists. It's still around. It's still relevant. And it has 37s on Fuel Maverick wheels. They're very new. They've got a Kenda Cleaver 37s. And I know this truck has not been on the internet for quite some time. I haven't posted really anything. But here's the truck, and here's where we're currently at. As of right now, uh, the suspension, everything is still the same. Um, I've updated to a Boost Auto clicker, which is probably one of the best things I ever did. Best 50 bucks ever spent. <sighs> did upgrade the towing mirrors, also Boost Auto. There were issues with that. Long story short, I put the Autometer 7000 um, dashboard in my truck. There was an issue with the LEDs. My Boost Auto meters also came. They're wired backwards for, I think it's left and right, so one it goes the opposite way from the switch. Overall, not super sold on them. They still do the wiggle thing. Also, they include the little plate that goes behind um, the mounting bracket so that it actually stiffens it up. But really and truthfully, these trucks, if you look, the door is actually what flexes from here down. This crease does not actually help the integrity of the truck. Um, as compared to my old 2018 Ram that I had, when you take the mirrors off, because my 2018 2500 had uh, standard mirrors on it. When I took the mirrors off, everything that's in here structurally is a lot stiffer on modern day vehicles. These trucks were never really designed for these tow mirrors. These are just retrofitted off GMT 800s and GMT 1000s. Um, this mirror, um, in fact, the only trucks that I do know that came with towing mirrors in the GMT 400s were the 3500 heavy duties and they had the big structured ones that had like the poles or whatever that came down like for like rollbacks and shit. And those actually, you know, are better because they have a larger area in which they uh, build off of. But here's where we're at with the truck right now. Just go ahead and open it up. So I did finally do my JL audio sound system. The same one that I originally wanted to do. Um, the only thing I did change is I went to a TW3. Yeah, TW3. Low profile dual voice coil subwoofer. Not very well put in that box. Box kind of fits, kind of doesn't. There's a RD905 on the other side. And you can see my 2017 LTZ seats. Um, in here now, everything works. They fold, they flip, they do all the things that they're supposed to from factory. Um, it is a lot of welding. It is a lot of tedious stuff to make them fit. The original seat belts <coughs> work. I might end up getting new belts. Might go with some green ones. I know people are probably going to freak out about that, but I do like lime green, and I'd like to incorporate that somewhere in the truck. And I think the seat belts would probably be a good fit. Um. Got some WeatherTech floor mats over time. Autometer, not autometer, glow shift gauges, autometer gauge, OMP, steering wheel, OMP, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is a true 15 inch steering wheel, NRG quick release, NRG hub. We've got a Boss Audio BE10 ACP. That is a, crap, I can't remember. Uh, van Top, Van Top two way mirror it's a dash cam and it's got a backup camera this has the ability to have two cameras still the mv4500 still the basic brake controller um i haven't done anything to the engine leaks like a bitch got a quarter million miles on it it's gonna get rebuilt um anything else inside here no not really um i put a soft topper on i got this for 200 bucks it came off of a 2019 3500 or 2018 something like that it works, um, I like it. Got a little Husky box back here, but I just needed something for storage. Got my goose, my goose neck ball from Kurt. Haven't really done anything. The bumpers, I did not put primer on the bumpers before I put the dirt, before I put the bed liner on and now my bumpers are brown because they're rusted under it. Learning from that mistake, um, just have to move forward with it. So as we sit, the truck is gonna get the ultimate towing compound turbo system from power driven diesel it's i've got some track bar issues i've got some bump steer going on that i need to fix um there is a i've got the psc 
um, steer, uh, hydraulic assist steering system that I'm gonna put on. I've had it for like two years. I just haven't had a chance to put it on because I have engine oil leaks and to fix the leak, it's like one thing after another. I'd have to take the um, injection pump off. And if I take the injection pump off, I'm just gonna take the whole truck and just take the engine out and just do all that crap. Uh, truck rides really good. Um, I've got some driveline issues because my pinion angle is wrong because I did the um, shackle drop or shackle flip, whatever you want to call it. So I got four inches from that and two inch block and I never dropped my carrier bearing. I'm an idiot. Yeah, my carrier bearing hates me. Um, I've done a lot of towing and a lot of driving with this truck and my carrier bearing hates life. There are obvious driveline vibrations like... My shaft is coming out of my transmission going like this, and then my secondary shaft is coming out and going like that more, and my pinion angle is just, it's just wrong. It's, I've got, it's just, I don't, yeah, I've, it's terrible. I need to fix it, haven't had a chance to. It's been a great truck. Um, the only thing that I really hate about it is the steering sucks, the brakes suck, and the ride quality is ass on the highway because my pinion angles suck, and you can feel it, it it's bad. But I'm going to get it resolved. I've got an ARB air locker going in the rear too. I've, it's sitting in a box in my 44 foot long race car trailer. But right now I'm getting ready to um, possibly move. But this truck's been through a lot. I've been through a lot over the past years. Um, if you've seen the original videos um, since I've posted it, um, it's first drive. I've joined the Air Force. I've had a kid. I've been divorced and I've moved three times so <laughs> there's not been much in the department of like time to work on my truck and do this and do that and do the other thing but i did put brand new tires and wheels on it and that was a pretty penny but them deployment dollars man they hit different and they look it looks good it looks great i think it's a far better look now than what it was i need to trim up my fender a little bit i did have to put a one inch wheel spacer up front um I want to cut this so that it's, because you can kind of see where it kind of looks like it's pointing towards the tire. I'd like to put a little bit more angle into it just so that it curves to the profile of the tire. Um, and I need to trim this up, which is no big deal. I had to trim that up on my old K1500 too when I put 37s on it. So people are going to ask, seven inches in the front, six inches in the back. Two inch block, four inch, four inch flip. The springs are fours. No, this, yeah, the springs are four inch springs. And then the um, solid axle swap kit adds three inches. I know that seven, the springs are for a 454. So this 12 valve weighs quite a bit more. It's like 700 extra pounds of load carrying capacity gives you that extra inch. That's why it rides so nice because the springs are loaded up. It's like the better your truck. The better your truck rides better when it's got a little bit of weight in it. Same thing on my leaf springs. That's why I went with the fours that were made for a 454. Um, there's another thing coming. Arizona Performance. They have a Dana 60 Will Wood like trophy truck brake system. Not really designed for dually hubs. This is a 94 F350 axle. These knuckles have the integral um, slides built into the knuckle for the brake caliper. Not a whole lot of brake options out there for this truck. I've ordered it. It's an expensive kit. It's $1,500 said screw it i'm gonna go with it i've talked to the owner personally we've done some measurements and i think it'll work and i'm gonna put a video out for that i don't know when i'm gonna put a video out for that i know i've got it's a lot of hectic stuff going on but the truck is gonna get painted everything's gonna get resolved on it but i figured i'd at least give you guys an update because i do have people showing interest in this truck all the time um if you've seen me i'm on a couple of facebook pages like gmt um, 400 and OBS and solid axle swap Chevy. I'm on a couple of those. I don't post a whole lot, um, but I am still relevant. I've got a brand new Gen Y hitch over here with the stabilizers and everything. I've also got the step that's getting ready to go on. And I just figured, you know, before I did that, I would uh, throw up a video. So I hope everybody out there is doing great. Um, I love the fact that people comment all the time about, hey, you know, great, great truck. Duh, duh, duh. You did an awesome job. You know, you guys are awesome. And for all the people that are out there hating, well, you know what? Whistling Diesel owns a Lamborghini now. So you know what? Hate, 
hate me some more so I can buy some cool stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys take care.